Okay, next up we need to get to Minefra. Yes, this place should be uh, for uh, where Kalos lives. Druid of Erod. The last known druid to be able to take multiple forms was Kale Bailey. He even surpassed Erod. Almost looks like an entrance. Nothing in this house, strangely. Finding your animal form can take many years. They say that very few can have multiple forms, like Kalos. We never- I can't actually transform into his bird form for some reason, even though he did so in the cutscene. It's been difficult to find my form. Now I soar above the trees. It's exhilarating. At Xantiel's sanctum was sealed by Kale Bailey at the fall. Is at the summit of Mount Ortis. Hezerak's Garb. Who can equip that one again? Healing Vapors. Maybe Kalia? We rarely visit our brethren in Porthole Forest. Incense. Spinach. Uh, is you hang anything in that cabinet? No. Erod lost his life during the fall of Exantiel. His resting place is at the peak of Mount Ortis. Can it be true? Has my youngest son returned? It brings me great joy to see you again, Hydroid. Likewise, my son, but I am surprised. Usually the rite of passage takes years before completion. The truth is I was returning almost two years ago before meeting with my companions. The tides of fate have swept me from Farland to Osiris and beyond. You never cease to amaze me, Kalos. Unfortunately, your brothers are not within the sanctuary of Minefra. I know they would be overjoyed to see what form you have obtained. Father, I have obtained multiple forms. Multiple forms? Is this true? What shapes have you taken? At first it became the deadly saber before taking the form of the fortuitous bearer. These forms taught me to rely on instinct and primal nature. However, as I traveled with the Children of Light on a request, I found great solace in the form of the mythical treant, honing my abilities of healing and nature magic. In Osiris, while my, needs, my need was great, I was able to transform into a mighty condor, large enough to carry my friends to safety. But you, you can't seem to do that again. Only two were, order were ever able to be tr transformed into multiple creatures, the great Kale Bailey and Irad himself. It is remarkable that you have achieved so much in such a short time. There must be some greater meaning. You know, it's kind of strange. Kale Bailey did not transform at all during the battle with him. Even though he was able to do so in a cutscene, and the person he was possessing had the ability to transform. What could it mean, Father? It means that you, uh, uh, you, Kalos, have the power of Erod. Perhaps you could be the one to harness the power of a true elemental. You don't mean the lore of elements. I do, my son. You, have, you left us in search of your true self and have obtained the ba uh, balance of nature. If your quest is impor as important as the trees speak, then you must climb Mount Ortis and face the Lord of Elements. Only then will you truly know if you are worthy to be called the reborn soul of Kale Bailey. I'm not sure I am, uh, that I am ready. Trust in yourself, my son. Only you will be able to know if your tr spirit is ready for awakening. Well, that's our next quest. Mount Ortis. Gotta go here again.
Mount Ordus is home to the very first creatures on Tanat. Don't let your guard down or you'll be likely to meet a sticky end. Sticky? Master Hezarek said the very first fate came from Mount Ordus. The Lord of Elements guards the summit. I hope, if I hope to harness his power, we must first get there to confront him. Gods of the Four Winds created Xantiel at the peak of Mount Ordus, the precipice in which the Celestial Realm and Mortal World would meet. Well, I should fight at least one Ram battle here. Let's see. Mine. Oh, 20! Agium Ore as well. Linear path so far. Hmm. Oh no, Lightning Elemental. Lightning Essence, maybe? No. Earthquake. Okay, let's see if it drops anything good. Thunderstone, that's it. Didn't drop a whole lot of gold either. Hmm. Nurse statue. Green dragon? Can I steal any dragon stuff from you? Okay, this guy must have a really low steel chance. Yikes. Okay, good. Stunned. So I'll buy me some time to steal again. Please, proc. Damn! This thing was something really good if I can't steal from it, even with the Master Thief gloves. Yes! Dragon Scale! That's a good one! Okay. Now I can kill you without remorse. How much experience was that? A thousand. Not bad. Oh, superior lever. I need that. This might be a good place to grind. Father Zantiel is rewarded for his help cultivating the land, aiding nature in its tireless quest to grow out of our uh, grow our infant world. Aurora blessed him with the compa with companionship. The fair maiden gents Roslia. Walk her. Essence of Earth. That, that good. I need probably need that for at least something. Maybe 
uh, maybe Adele's final weapon. Whoa, this one's fast. I didn't even get my second turn before it attacked me. If it's, if it's Earth, then what would its weakness be? Weak to space, that's for sure. Palm shaft, which is semi rare. Four. Celestium. It's a big, awfully big room. So we're gonna be a ambush. No, it's just a elemental. Mine. Okay, we're almost there, it looks like. God of Death Malviticus grew hateful and envious of Aurora's children and the sanctity of life they had created. Unleashing a powerful demon upon the world, the Elven Mother fell prey to possession, creating the carnage Malviticus so desired. The summit. We have reached the summit. The wind is strong. Turn back. There's a voice upon the wind. This is your final warning. I've come to harness the power of the elements. None of life can withstand this power. I'm Kalos Tangrelos, reborn soul of Kale Bailey, druid of the E-Rod. I'm here to harness the power of the Lord of Elements. You can try. Omni-mental. That thing looks strong. Nothing, really? At least it's not resistant to normal attacks. This could be bad. Let's let's swap between <laughs> Ring of Lords and the Aris stuff for now. Yes, Proct. Three thousand. That's only one eighth of its whole hit points, isn't it? Oh no, it's a permanent burn effect. Hmm. 
No, Nick, you have any element, real elemental weaknesses, so... Yeah, this is just for super strong healing, I guess. I'm gonna guess something like Gale is just going to heal you. Yup, it's just completely resisted. But what about space? How will that fare against you? Whoops. I'll stop doing that. It's supposed to hit multiple times based on dexterity, but what's the cap? Space is neutral. Oh no, lightning. Fury got status bombed. Dang it. Order. A thousand? That means it's almost dead. It only has 8,000 left. But Potts is about to run out of his buffs. Shoot. Quarter is not worth using anymore, so let's just go back to Charm Bracelet. Crush. Okay. Grants Mana Region, I didn't realize I had that. That would have helped earlier. Shoot, I don't have much will buffs on him. Oh, well, he can still survive a few hits, so even without will buffs, I can still win. Didn't proc on him, shoot, but it at least give me the speed boost, just for hitting. You really need more elemental variety. None of these are going to scratch the Omni-Mental, that's for sure. Right now his strength is probably not going to be very good. Just 
whack him for a little bit of damage. Okay, we win. Learn Siphon to I probably absorb MP or something. Got a bunch of esses essences too. What is this? This is my true form, Kaelus Tangerless. Your true form, are you the Lord of Elements? I've been called such for a very long time, but before the fall of Xantiel, I was known as another name, Erod. Erod, the son of Father Xantiel, the first druid. How is this possible? The time that you now call the fall of Xantiel was a terrible time for my kin. My brother, Port Hanian, was murdered by a demon wearing his own martyr's face, and tore my father's heart from his chest. Such terrible carnage. The very sight of her was enough to cause insanity as she swept through our sacred gra grounds, polluting and defiling everything she came across. We had never seen such uncompromising death. Our history tells you, you uh, tells us you lost your life, saving us from the mother of demons. Ne never mentioned you becoming the Lord of Elements. I find this difficult to understand. At this time, my nephew, Kale Bailey, was my most promising second. The first of his kind, aside from myself, to be able to attain multiple forms. The era we thought we could obtain the power of the elements, the power to defeat the martyr of demons. You learn it by allowing primal nature magic to envelop oneself. You in turn command the power of the elements and bend them to your will. What we failed to realize until it was too late that this power becomes too much for a druid to handle and can easily cause you to lose yourself to this power. Becoming a Lord of Elements. Yes, Kaelus, Kaelus Tangrelas. It was with this power that I was able to hold off the murder of demons while Kael Bailey used my father's pendant to seal her away within Exantiel's sanctum. However, I was never able to return to my former self. So you have guarded the tomb of Exantiel for all these years. Yes, to ensure this evil can never be unleashed upon this world again. This charge should now belongs to you, Kaelus Tangrelas. My spirit longs for the... Uh, uh, Long journey. Wait, what do you mean it's my responsibility? Kalos, what are you going to do? This sounds serious. I think I understand. I can harness this power. The power of the elemental, but what are you going to do about the tomb and protecting it? We're going to destroy the mother of demons, once and for all. I've got a bad feeling about this. Elemental? Is that a new transformation? Whoa, drains mana when active. Seem it sounds like treant, but more risky. Damn. And even if I does greatly increase my magic, I only have these four spells. I would not do well against an enemy unless it was specifically weak to one of these elements. And that's becoming rarer and rarer. Uh, this aura of evil, I've never felt the, uh, 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 felt the like. I can barely breathe. It said the murder of demons is even older than the gods. How can it be? Uh, older than the gods? In ancient times of creation, when the darkness ruled the cosmos, we must make it through. Wait, but it was a... I don't know. Wasn't it God who, inf who created her in the first place? Hmm... Okay, they gave me a save book in case I want to change up the party. Maybe, considering what I'm up against, maybe I should do just that. Hezerax Buckler. Not sure. It's really hard to cover everything. Port Hanian, the Firstborn. Hydroid Erod Tangrelas. The Crystal Pariah. There will be no going back once you remove that, are you sure? Hold on. Okay. Nothing happened. Strange. That means something will happen. Always need to use the... 
all mental attacks. We only have one helm of blocking. That really sucks for this next part. Beyond the Veil! Form of Madness. Shit. I think the key to this battle is to actually kill off confused party members. And then revive them. In a state where I can actually deal with their- uh, And revive them and hope that they don't get confused again. So yeah, for now. Go work on unconfusing my party members by whacking them. First, let's start with Pots because he will be good for killing everyone else. I have to heal, I'll just heal Kalos. Oh, Slowed me down, bitch. They can't unconfuse themselves, too. That sucks. Oh no. It's really one of the most frustrating battles. Maybe I should have unequipped the charm bracelet so some of them would die faster. I don't know. Do you absorb your own MP? What the heck? Okay, some of them are almost dead. Okay, he's dead. Raise him. Now he's unconfused. Cool. Yeah, I know she only does her mass confusion spell like at the start of fight, but after that she only uses like single targets. So yeah, let's just... Heal self so you can continue reviving everyone. Agramed. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this to everyone so that we can just get our DPS back because of the, their stupid perma region. It'll be impossible to make progress otherwise. Hmm. 
They have super high evasion, yeah. I'm not even sure I was meant to fight this boss yet. It might have been re re required for the end game. Oh no. Where's my... little Bane Mead? Heal you. I wonder, will she try to go go uninsane later? Will she try to use the group insanity spell if none of us have it? I, I have to consider that. That was a tough sacrifice to make, but oh well. Now we're in business. Recovery. Keen eye, because you're not going to hit the boss otherwise. Really? Other than that, Kalos does not really have many options against this boss. It kind of sucks. See how accurate I am now. Oh, nice. That was... I still missed a few times. Damn, that boss is so... dodgy. <laughs> Dodged, of course, yeah. Last raid again. Still dodge a bunch of times. But its defenses are actually not that great uh, uh, when it comes to Pots' attacks. I might have a chance. I don't even know if I can steal speed on you. I have a feeling you're immune to every debuff. Yeah, it's not gonna work. No! Fuck, I have to kill him now. That sucks, it took a long time just to get some buffs on pots.
how you like them apples. Still alive, of course. I highly doubt any of this is gonna hit, but you never know. It might just. Still? Damn. But at least I am outdoing her regen. That is what matters the most. As long as I can keep that up, I am good. I need to make more restoration potions. Lower the reflex of enemies. Highly doubt it's gonna proc, but he's not gonna hit anything anyways. Okay. Pulsar. Nope. You're the only one who has a chance of even hitting pots. Seriously, that still didn't, wasn't enough. Yes, waste your turns while I use this. Yes, finally! I defeated such a cheap boss. I forgot to steal from it, but chances are I wouldn't be able to anyways. I hope it wasn't anything valuable. Maybe I should reload just in case. Finally, my ancestors ancestors can be at peace. Today marks a new day for my people. We must see the Lorak at Porthole and explain what has transpired here. I cannot believe we were able to cleanse this place. Not even Kale Bailey was able to see it done. What's this light? You have freed me from my binds, children of light. Are you the Mur of Demons? Show yourself. I am known by many names, but your people call me Aurora. Forgive my concealment as my form while not on the celestial. P uh, my form while on the celestial uh, plane would most certainly destroy the minds of those who had come bear to come to bear witness. The goddess Aurora. How is this so? As Dantiel is my greatest love. Yes. I too can succumb to the weakness of desire. I took the guise of Gen Ross Leah so I could be with him forever and share in the joys of my or children after my long work to shape this world. My desire quickly became my downfall as I was forced to commit atrocities to my family, my creations. The Mur of Demons held me prisoner within my own my very own corporal form. For two thousand years have passed since Kale Bailey sealed us within the crystal Pariot. We are happy to see you freed, great goddess. The souls within this tomb can finally rest in peace. Your journey is far from over, children of light. The Dark Lord has returned, and this time, you're on your own. Good luck to you. The Celestial Realm calls to me. Children of light, what brings you back to the Spire of Higher Being? Lorak, I returned from the summit of Mount Ortis. The curse of the Mire of Demons has been lifted. The Tomb of Adzantiel has been cleansed. How? I have bested the Lore of Elements and retrieved the Crystal Pariah from within the Sanctum. We have destroyed the Mire of Demons and freed the Goddess Aurora. The goddess, I don't understand. It was my mother. The great mother, Jess, Jess Raslia, was indeed the goddess of the four winds under the guise of an elven beauty. Father Xantiel shared her children and gave us the blessing of everlasting life. 
I always knew there was something special about her. You have done her great people a great service, Kalos Tangrelas. Please take this as a token of her eternal gratitude. Windspeaker's robe and commendation of Porthole. Legendary robes of Kale Bailey. Hezarak's Hut. Ah, oh, Children of Light, word of has spread of your victory at Xantil's Sanctum. Finally, my grandmother's spirit can rest. I see that my granddaughter has learned much as well. I have been aiding the Children of Light well, Grandfather. Your alchemy has come a long way, my child. It's time for you to learn of, our, of the greatest contagion of them all. Use it wisely. This mixture is the most volatile compound I have ever encountered. Hezrax Vile. Thank you, Grandfather. I'll use it well. It must be an, a special accessory or something for her. Which is bad because I really need that slot for charm bracelets. Yeah. It's a shame. They give all these special, unique accessories, but I can't use them. Because charm bracelets. Every boss kind of requires it. Let's go get back to Kalos' father as well. The wind brings news of your triumphs, my son. The goddess Aurora was trapped within the Elven Mother. We defeated the Mother of Demons which held her and she is now free once again. You accomplished that which even Kale Bailey could not. You are a true hero to our people, my son. Seriously, that boss was way stronger than Kale Bailey. You honored me, father. Take this, my son. It was worn by Kale Bailey all those years ago when he joined the Arthur Graham on his quest. Windspeaker's Hood. I shall use it well, father. Go now, my son. Your true battle lies to the north. Yeah, not gonna- hopefully I won't need this helm of blocking again. If only I could find more. It's equal to Rami hat, seriously. How- these legendary equipments, they're kind of, It's kind of depressing that- uh, Even though they're touted as so legendary, modern science has already created equal equipment. Well, we can't still upgrade the green ones to uh, to go even beyond modern science, so I guess it's all good once I get the ingredients. Okay, this is Andragus. We were here before, actually. Stealable. A, yeah, we killed the person who who lived in that house before. I cannot. There is no room. Amnor has been part of five nations for almost two hundred years. King Wilhelm Graham the second deemed the old kingdom too large to be governed by one ruler. Things are looking pretty bad. I may want to level up everyone to 50 considering how tough the enemies are lately. Hmm. 100. Must have been the house I wasn't able to access before. Yep, this one. Incense and a money and wine. Andrew is such a quiet town, but I like it this way. The noble Elsaris was slain just la slain last year in the nature preserves to the north. The king has decreed anyone slaying the majestic creatures to be hung. Elsaris, were those the dinosaurs that we fought before? D during at the beginning of the game? Locked and barred from the inside. Yes, we can actually go back to this area here. 
Now I, I'm, I'm strong enough to do some mining. Elementary. Back then it was impossible. Platinum and alum alumen. A little bit of AGM too. Yes, yeah, back when Pots was way weaker than Atreus. Another one. Nur t 20. There's something on the other side there. Get that one. Seems physically impossible. That's strange. Virgil claimed he burned down Talus, but I don't see any signs of damage from the outside. What is going on? Oh. Well, damn. Okay, what is with this half tree sprite? And you think there'd be burn marks too? No, there's absolutely nothing. Not even stuff to steal. And also, no cutscene with pots, even though he he is mostly responsible for this. Maybe I can come back here later in the game. Maybe this is where I'll have my final showdown with Virgil. That'd be quite a location for a final boss fight, wouldn't it? It's supposed to be a Celestium here. Are you it? Tight restrictions have been placed, uh, put in place for boat captains. Travel outside of the Amanian sea, uh, Seaborg and get your ship confiscated. Alhang used to be a very lively place, being a major trade post for shipping vessels. We've been he heard of most from the closing of our borders. Too small to enter. Oh, herbs. Rammies, I need more of those. Oh, there's the Celestium. I do so miss the many handsome sailors that stop here on their trade runs. I really need, gotta get out of this dump. This town is dead now the trade has been stopped. Why would they stop all trade? Just because you're ruled by a dictator doesn't mean they should do stuff like that, right? How else are we gonna make money? And I can't recruit you. I have to wonder... No, I, f I was thinking maybe every clock in the world will actually tell me time, but no, it's just the ones for special events like Eldrafen. Rare steak. Farland Pepper. I saw most of the world in my youth, but I've traveled from the I've traveled from the island of Farland to the plains of Zardan, but in the end I still end up back home in Alhain. Its quiet beauty is truly peaceful. Hmm. Open Soul Stone. I wonder, maybe I'm gonna find enough soul stones at the end of the game to level everyone up at least once. Not much happens in this town. Of course there was that incident with the Minotaur slave ship which happened over a year ago. Luckily some heroes saved the day and my husband was able to come back home. Wow, really? Over a year? That's how much time passed? That's how much grinding we did just to get everyone up to level 45? Huh. Not expect that much time to pass for us. Forced to join the Amanian army. Ah, oh, so that's their angle. Maybe they're preparing to conquer the continent. Yeah, we'll need to take over Aminor if we want to make sure they don't start working for Validus. I have a feeling that I have a feeling that the Bavador family that's in charge is probably going to side with Validus. 
The captain still brags about how he saved everyone from a Minotaur slave ship a while back. We all know he's full of hot air, but it's fun to poke holes in the story. Oh, if you're here about this sign out front, I don't actually sell anything. I bought this place from a blacksmith and saw it taking down the sign. Sorry to confuse you. Really? No. Wait a minute, I thought you said so ships weren't allowed to go in and out. Maybe it's because Ilba is considered part of the region, that's why. It's still okay. Tourniquet. Hello there, travelers. Please, make yourself at home and keep warm by the fire. When blazes is King Ramsay Lincoln, closing down our shipping lanes. How are we to survive? Hey, can I grab anything from that tree? No. Hey, check this out. Hezerax Vial actually protects from all negative status ailments, which means I can actually th th then use the jewel slot for something else. It's actually pretty convenient, except I also want to use this slot for Red Obi because of her dependence on AP. Hmm, more dilemmas. Okay, I actually missed something here back then. There's supposed to be a Celestium short in one of these statues. Oh yeah, I also have the game set at the highest FPS I can because I'm trying to grind faster. Get everyone up to level 50. Yeah. Of course, the bad news is that it's kind of hard to control my movement, but eh, small price to pay in order to get through the battle animations quickly. Thanks for watching this Let's Play of the Great Gaias. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit that bell icon.